Good day traders, Edge with High Tech Trading Analysis. Today I am very happy to announce the release of a couple NinjaTrader 8 indicators. Uh, the first indicator I'm going to talk about is a version of my draw bar. Uh, many of you are probably familiar with the ultimate version of the draw bar that I have offered for NinjaTrader 7. Uh, placing a toolbar on your chart allowing for simple clicks to draw uh, any type of manually drawn object. Allows you to draw it, to show it, to hide it. Let's just get right down and show you the basics of this. I'm going to throw the indicator on the chart and we can see that it adds a tool strip to the top portion of my chart. Now currently this particular indicator is fixed to be at the top left hand portion of your chart. I am working on an upgrade that will allow you to choose between the top or placing it here on the left side of the chart. If you're familiar with my NinjaTrader 7 version, I allowed you to put it on the top, the left, the right, or the bottom. Because of the, um, the coding differences between NinjaTrader 7 and NinjaTrader 8, it's, a, it's a quite a bit more difficult um, or time-consuming uh, to, code, to code the placement of that. And I'm, what I've seen from the previous version is that 99% of you use it at, as either on the top or the left hand side. So that's what I'm going to concentrate on now. Possibly in the future I'll stick it on the bottom and stick it on the right too. But there's uh, there's more options and different things that, that I believe would be more important to you that I'm currently working towards. Also in my NinjaTrader 7 version, um, we called that an ultimate version. It, it, it did a lot more than just adding a tool strip and allowing you to draw various objects on your chart. Not only did it allow you to draw those objects on the chart, but for instance from a line or from a rectangle it allowed you to extend them across the side. It laid up, labeled them with price and tick offset allowed you to extend your lines to show 50%, 100% extensions. You drew a triangle on your chart and it allowed you to show your ABCDs. I had a couple different harmonic tools on it. Each one of these icons has a drop down that allows a multitude of different things, um, different additions that you can do with them. Over the course of time, I had a lot of requests for a basic or a just a simple version of my drawing tool that would allow you to do nothing more than just draw the objects and hide the objects. Now, I never did that for NinjaTrader 7, but for NinjaTrader 8, I am going to do that and I'm going to allow a couple different versions. The version that I'm going to talk about now is the most basic of um, versions I'm going to release. Through the tool strip, we can draw whatever object we want. We can draw as many objects as we want. Now, not only does it add the convenience of a simple um, one-click type draw, but if I go through, I, I go through an analysis every morning and sometimes on the weekends and sometimes spend, you know, 10 or 15 minutes or maybe even more analyzing the chart, trying to find the areas of support and resistance or, or areas of interest that I might be interested in trading. Now, through the day, I don't necessarily want to leave all of this clutter on my chart. I don't want to have to delete it all because I just spent the time in going through it. So not only do I allow the convenience of drawing it, I allow a very easy convenience of hiding these objects without actually removing them. 
I have a rectangle here on my chart. If I now, instead of left click to draw, I middle click, I actually hide the draw object off of my chart. Or this fib that I have, if I middle click on it, I've hidden it. It's not gone from my chart. If I left, if I middle click that icon again, it's right back where I put it. But I don't have to deal with the with the full time clutter of everything that I've drawn on my chart. There's a couple other icons that you can see in the tool strip that are not included in NinjaTrader's drawing tools. There are two on the far left of the chart which is a red eye and a green eye and two on the far right hand of the chart that is for showing and hiding chart trader and showing and hiding my trade markers for any types of trades that I've executed. So the green eye is very convenient in the fact that I've gone through and I've, made a, I, I've drawn all over my chart and I can see that I have individual objects or that group of draw objects hidden on my chart. If I left click the green reset all, it resets all my buttons to show and brings every draw object that I had drawn back on the chart. And that way if I've got a line and a rectangle and a circle and a fib and, and a pitchfork all drawn and individually hidden, I don't have to go back to each and every one of those icons to unhide all everything on my chart. The red eye is a very convenient way of hiding, of hiding and showing everything on my chart all at one time. So if I left click on that, I bring them all back. Now instead of having to middle click each individual draw object to hide it, I have a simple way of left clicking one icon and having a nice clean chart. If I left click the green icon, that resets all icons including the red eye and brings everything back to my chart. The far two right icons, if I left click the trade markers button, as you can see, is if I hover over these, I have a tool tip showing you what each of these objects are. If we hover over the far right one, this says show trade markers. And if I left click on this, I can see that I've placed some trades, and I did this for demonstration purposes in a SIM account. I can see the trades that I've placed today or any time back in the future. So now I can display and, and I can hide and show all of my trade markers for any trades that I've executed with just a simple click again. The icon right next to that is for Chart Trader. If I left click on that, it brings my Chart Trader into view. If I left click on that again, it hides my chart trader. Now, I want to show you some properties in the indicator panel for that. If I right click and go back into my indicators and come down and, and look at the settings that I have for the draw bar, you're going to notice that there are not many associated to this particular indicator. Just these up here in this portion of the HT draw bar settings. Everything else is the default settings for NinjaTrader other than some information down here as far as my website goes and the product version that you're currently on. So if we look at the top, the draw bar offset is set to zero. What this does is it offsets the tool bar down a certain number of pixels off of the top of the chart. Now, why is this important? Because as time goes on, this is probably going to be popular amongst many coders and many vendors, and many people are going to be putting various types of things up there at the top of your chart. I give you a convenient way 
of if something else is up here that you can adjust the draw bar itself below or above whatever else might be on your chart. I'm going to take that back to zero here in a second. For the chart trader icon, I give you the ability when it's off <clears throat> to declare what that means. When I click it off, does it mean off or does it mean chart trader hidden or does it mean chart traders on? So in my case, I would say chart trader hidden. So when I when I click this for off, I just hide the chart trader and that way if I right click on the chart, I can still place orders. If you turn chart trader off, you can't place orders on your chart any longer. And then when the chart trader is on, what does that mean? So all I'm doing is giving you the option of declaring what it means when you have this icon on or off. So for the trade markers, uh, you also have the ability to choose how you want to display them. Now, there is no on or off. If it's off, it's do not plot. But when you turn that on, you have the choice of selecting do not plot. So even if you turn it on, it wouldn't show your markers. Or you can show markers only and text and markers. The bottom two are, I give you the option, the toolbar itself um, by default, th this is the colors by default that I choose to look at with my charts. Some people use black charts, some people use white charts, hell, I think some people even use blue charts. So I give you the option of being able to color the background and the hidden color of each of these icons. If I were to change that from white smoke to pink and from dim gray to crimson, excuse me, and I click apply, you'll notice that the background of the tool strip as well as the color that is displayed when the objects are hidden are changed to these colors. So it's very customizable from the extent of how you want to make it look on your chart. Now, just for conversation purposes, I'm going to go back to, um, well, I don't even remember what it was anymore, white smoke and uh, dim gray. Good enough for conversation purposes. This matches the, the toolbar. Um, this matches my chart. This is just kind of how I like to see it. Back into the indicators properties. There are no other properties to set. Now, you might ask, if I have a small chart, or what if I don't want to see some of the icons up here? I make it very easy and convenient for you to choose what you want to display in your toolbar. I place an icon in tool in NinjaTrader's toolbar itself. If I middle click on that, it works just the same as if I middle click any of the icons in the toolbar. I hide the toolbar, so it's no longer on my chart. If I middle click it again, it's right back to where it was. If I left click this icon, you'll notice that I bring up another window. From here, you can pick and choose which icons you would like to be displayed. So let's look at these chart markers right here and then let's look at some of these fibs right here. I'm gonna come down to markers and I don't use a triangle up down. Notice how that automatically refreshes and disappears from my chart. So I'll turn that off. I'll turn all of these off. I'll leave my up and down arrows. Uh, as far as Fibonacci's go, I don't use a circle or a that. Um, I don't even, I'll leave both of those. Let's say that I don't want a GAN fan. Um, let's say I don't want an arc. You can see how easy it is. Uh, maybe I don't, maybe you don't want to see the Reese, the hide, and the show. Maybe you don't want to see the snap mode 
or the stay and draw mode. Now, I'm going to turn all of these back on real quick. Now, I do have a select all and a unselect all, and I haven't gotten around to programming that yet, but in the next version or two, once you, once you click that, it will automatically select all of these or deselect them all so that you can individually select. Um, but real quick, I'm going to add them all onto the chart. You'll notice that by default, the snap mode is not shown. And that's also because the snap mode needs to have a drop down so that, so that you can choose which of these you want the snap mode to be. I, I'm still in the process of working on putting that drop down menu and making that work. So for right now, by default, I just keep that icon hidden and it doesn't work. It will work in in the next version or two. It just hasn't been real high a priority on my list. That is about the extent of the features um, of this basic version of the drawbar. I'm currently working towards all of the features that you're used to in NinjaTrader 7 will ultimately be in a ultimate version of this. It's just going to take me some time to get it all over. Um, I started doing it, and because of various issues in, uh, in the various betas, I just stopped working on it completely until the platform was more stable and those issues were corrected um, so that I could go back and, and implement those without any problems. And I think we're finally at that point to where I can do that and I'm working towards that. As always, if you have any questions, you can reach out on Skype, Edge358. You can reach out on NinjaTrader forums, Big Mike forums. Uh, my phone number's on my website. Thanks.